guys, it's Melissa. In this video, I'm gonna answer a question that I get quite a bit, which is why are my sublimation print colors not coming out correctly? So this happens a lot, and the, the most specific question that we get is why are my teals coming out blue? So this actually has nothing to do with the paper you're using. It has nothing to do with the sublimation printer that you're using. It has everything to do with using the wrong uh, print color profile. Okay, so it's really easy to make sure that you're using the correct color profile because if you're not, this is what's going to happen. So this, I can tell you that these two examples were printed on two different, on the exact same printer, the Epson F570, although the same thing happens on the Epson 170, it also happens on all paper types, okay? So I have been testing, this is why I have all this here, I've been testing four different types of sublimation paper, three different types of sublimation printers, and it happens with all of them. Now, how do you get around it? Well, you gotta move over to Silhouette Studio, and I'm gonna show you that the it's all about the color profile that you're using. Don't let anybody tell you, oh, it's because you're printing from Silhouette Studio. That does not have anything to do with it if you know what you're picking when you're going to print. So if you go into Silhouette Studio and you click the printer options and you have your, let's say we're using our Epson F570, okay? And you're going to your settings and you're gonna click color matching. So you have multiple options here. It looks like you only have two, but you don't. So Epson color controls is what is happening when is, is going to give you that more blue result. Color sync is an option and that is actually what you want to use. So if you, when you click color sync, then what's going to happen is you're going to have this drop down menu. You should, if you have downloaded the drivers correctly, you should have two options here. One, well, three actually. One will be automatic. That's what's gonna automatically come up. But what you really wanna do is pick either rigid or textile. So rigid is like a hard surface. Textile is like a garment. So pick the profile that you actually are using. So if you pick rigid, you're going to get those better looking colors. Now, sometimes people will tell you use an ICC. Sometimes people will tell you to use this sRGB. Those, none of those worked. If you look at this other profiles and you pick any of these, um, the Adobe RGB also gave me that blue color. Um, so I can tell you that by simply using color sync and either Epson Rigid for if you're using for hard goods or textiles if you're putting on the paper will give you more accurate colors, whether you are printing from Silhouette Studio or some other type of program. Now, there's obviously more printer settings here as well. I like to go into printer settings and um, don't make, well, first of all, make sure this media type is set correctly. Again, you wanna make sure it matches rigid. You do not want to, um, if you use, use printer settings and then if you change any of these other options down here, you may end up with the wrong color. Again, you have these settings. You don't need to go into any of those, okay? So just pick rigid or textile, and then down here on level, it'll be quality. That's, you know, the highest DPI is max quality with finest detail. You're gonna make it a little bit faster, but you won't have as much detail if you click high speed on there. So just keep all of those things in mind. And then when you go to print, you will get much more accurate colors. You'll get these turquoise instead of the blue. So it's... Okay, so now that you know how to get the correct color profile, I'm gonna tell you that with all of this testing and the reason that I did all of this testing was to try to narrow down what is the best combination of printer, of color profile, of paper, and um, while they all, especially from kind of afar, they all look very, very similar. You can see I did these obviously all on the same substrate. I don't need this many license plate with this many uh, pumpkins, but the reason that I did this is so that it's easy to compare, and up close it's much more obvious um, where you know you're getting the big, bold, bright colors, and where you're getting maybe some banding or you know more dull colors. So um, I'm gonna have another video on that, but I can tell you that I used the StarCraft uh, sublimation paper, I used A sub sublimation paper, Epson sublimation paper, and uh, Swing Design uh, sublimation paper. I used an Epson F570, Epson 170, and a Sawgrass SG1000 
printed through their print managers, printed directly from Silhouette Studio through their print managers. And so I can tell you that you can get really, really good colors, um, but I would suggest that you do some of your own testing as well. I'm gonna give you a tip. I found the best combination to be the Epson 170, which is an eight and a half by 11 inch printer with Swing Designs paper. It's a close call. Um, there are some others that also look really, really good. But I found that to be, you know, the most accurate compared to the original design itself. So I'll link to all of that stuff down in the comments. If you are looking for additional uh, sublimation tutorials and tips and help, I have a whole bunch of videos on, the, on YouTube. I have a whole bunch of tutorials on Silhouette School blog, again, both linked. If you are in small business or you are new to sublimation or you just prefer to have some one-on-one -on -one chat help, you know, exclusive type videos and other benefits, you might want to consider Silhouette U. That's our premium website um, with premium content. And if you use the code YouTube, you can get 50% off your first month. So I'm linking to that as well. And I hope to see you guys around.